Right, so we've moved into the office and got a CD here. And we're going to put it into there. Once it's in there, we're going to edit the BIOS, if it's not already set up to do so, to boot from here first, allowing it to work. I'll show you how to do all of those when we're ready to do so. Alright, so first, you need power on your machine. Open up CD tray. Get your disk. And put it in. Close disk tray. Power off the machine. Power it back on. And go up to the screen. This one is a Dell, so F2 goes into the BIOS. It says up to here that we're entering setup after we've got to the boot. Here's there is. BIOS screen. What we need to do is check that the CD, the CD-ROM drive, is being booted first. So you just go down to the boot sequence, press enter. Got some instructions on how to work it. And there's your IDE CD-ROM device. That needs to be moved up. Up it goes. Press enter. And then down here it says press escape. Escape, and then you want save changes and exit. Machine's now going to reboot, and it's going to apply the settings that you just changed in the BIOS, and boot, therefore, the CD. There we go. So you've got English and some other languages here. Press enter. Menus. Go on this one, the top one. Try Ubuntu without any change to your computer. Press enter. And it's going to start booting Ubuntu. It's going to be here sometime because it's loading from the disk. You've got to remember with these that speed is lost dramatically. So if it's speed you're looking for and you want to set the speed, then don't use the live CD. The live CD is used to get a flavour of Ubuntu, try it out, and check if it works with your hardware. So, we're going to be here a while. It's going to be far quicker once it's actually installed, because it's then running from the computer as opposed to the CD, which has got a far less speed. So, it should be booted soon. There we go, that's a mouse. The primary things you want to do here is just make sure you've got some movement on the mouse. There we go, we have movement. Because if it's not moving and you can't move your mouse, then something's horribly gone wrong. Loading. And we have two bars at the top, bottom, and a desktop background got a few icons on the desktop, but look at the wallpaper. Then, if we examine the desktop, we have an examples, that links to a folder, we'll go to that shortly. Install, starts the installation, you have some options, don't worry. And a couple of medias, external hard drive, two partitions, and then to mount be able to access your Intel on a hard drive, you need to go to Places Computer and then find your hard drive. Double click it and it'll mount. There you go. Mounted, double click install and it'll start the installation. Let's go to examples. Got a few things that you can play around with here. A few files. Nothing too fancy, just to get you a feel what happens when you do different things and what, what applications are launched. Got a default set of applications that I showed you in a previous video, 
add removers down here. You can basically do anything you want with this live CD. It's just got limited memory. But, yeah. Let's have a go at install. Depending on what quality your CD drive is, you may hear a lot of noise. Now, did you see that? The icons that for the media that were on the desktop are now gone. That's because the install unmounted them because you may be installing on one of those drives. Select a language and click forward. Select a time zone. Click forward. Select the keyboard layout. The suggested option may be the one you go for. And click forward. It sets up partitioner. Partitioner. And now you get to choose where you want to install it. What it's currently showing is the external hard drive I have installed. Yes. And if you click on use the entire desk, it will just fill the desk with Ubuntu. Wipe everything. So, you probably won't want choose that option. You'll probably want to specify petitions. However, that may be your best option. Install them side by side, choosing between them each startup. For most people, that will be the best option, so I advise you choose that if you're confused. Or get someone who knows what they're doing to help you. Get another computer ready, and start talking to them online, or, even better, get them to come around to yours, or take the computer to theirs, and help and get them to help you set it up. Click forward. Now I'm going to scan your discs. I've clicked the advanced option, because it's the advanced option, and I want to show you how you'll sort this out. The other options are simple. Now, what you get here is all this. I want it on the external hard drive, so I'm going to click this. And I want a new partition. But, sometimes it won't let you do it here. So you need to go to System, Administration, Partition Manager, Editor, sometimes different. Wait for it to load and edit your partition from there. Make a new one. XC3 is probably the best, though you may need to install something to without Windows to be able to read what's on that partition because Windows by default cannot read XD3. So that's basically it. Live CD. Let you do what you want. And install from there. I've also shown you how to make new partitions. Leave comments if you have any questions and feel free to contact me via the ways listed on my website. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Okay, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, rate and even go to my blog for the latest news and updates that you cannot find on this channel. Again, thank you for watching and goodbye.